it's around like 3 p.m. right now. I am drying out my clothes and uh, my stuff. <laughs> so yes, guys, um, if my roommate's watching this, by some chance from my Airbnb right now in this time period, um, yeah, I did go into your room to use the balcony. <laughs> But um, I know you probably wouldn't mind anyways. But yeah, um, that'd be funny because by the time he comes back, he'll have never known. I decided to go a random way to Ikebukuro Station to get to the place where I need to go on the subway. And I ended up literally around the corner of my old Airbnb. So this was basically the daily view of my Airbnb. If I went outside the left side, but if you keep going back to the right side, then you'll see my Airbnb, so since I'm going to pass it, I, I don't know, I'm kind of like slightly nostalgic <laughs> from the first time I came to Japan and I was like, everything's so surreal. And then, you know, fast forward to now, being here again, this is like the endless amount of vending machines that they have here. And then there's like four more over there, and then up ahead there's like five. But I'll show you guys. Everything smells so good, guys, because there's so many bakeries here. Um, but I'm just trying to look for an exit because I arrived at Ginza. And yeah, I'm trying to get to the mall. Guys, I'm in Ginza, but I'm here finally. By the way, finding the exit out of the station took me like a minute because I got stuck in like another thing. So here I am. I really badly want to take another taxi just to go directly to the new Ginza 6 Mall because I can't find it. And then Google right now, Google Maps, it's not working with me. So yes, guys, super interesting because I've never been here before. And it's very like, it's very business filled. Everyone's wearing suits, <laughs> like no matter where I go. So hopefully I find it soon. When I find it, I'll update. It's G6, so I think that's it guys. And I'm just gonna make it for this crosswalk. So I'll update in a Okay, this is the office entrance. So I guess I haven't found it yet. That looks like the entrance right there. I read a lot of reviews about this place. So I'm quite interested to see what's gonna happen. So yes, I will start vlogging once I get inside. Though I would imagine it's gonna be super busy because it's still super new. Guys, I don't know if you see that, but I had no idea the Sem was here. And the Sem is all the way over there on the other side, but there's nothing there yet. Maybe it's, I don't know. We'll see what's here. Ooh, oh, okay. I think this is the entire cosmetic floor. So if it is, I probably won't vlog it because, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are used to that. You're basically gonna find every single like big brand name, and I don't really have a big interest in that. So, because these are all like brands that I'm not really, I don't use, basically. There's a Uniqlo right outside. And this is the first floor. I guess it just said fashion, so yeah, I'm not expecting too much. I see YSL, Rolex is right there if you guys want to buy a watch. But there isn't anything like super worth looking at on the first floor. So I'm going to go up to the second floor. Actually, the second floor is still fashion, so... I like the view though. This is the second floor. This is the third floor. So again, it's fashion. These are all the stores in it. And honestly, I don't see anything that I want to go visit. But Moshino sounds interesting. We got Alexander McQueen. These are some of the stores that you hear idols wearing. Like, but you don't hear about normal human. Oh, this is Moshino. Ooh. I cannot afford anything in here, so there's no point in me going in. 
Yeah, I thought I could have poured something in there then. I think... <laughs> well, I wouldn't need to work. But yeah, Kenzo's right there, which is pretty cool. Because I was hearing about Kenzo earlier too. I think somebody's vlog. Kenzo is expensive too, but it looks really nice. I'll take a look. I didn't show you guys all of it, but it was it was quite nice. There's a few things that I liked, but I didn't even look at the price tag because this is all fashion, right? So it's gonna be pricey naturally. Other way. This is what everyone's bundled up for. <laughs> it's the funniest thing when you follow the crowd when you're vlogging and then you end up... You end up walking just for something like that. I don't... But yeah guys, it's actually surprisingly quite hard to film in here because you get a lot of people who... I'll explain later. Alright guys, we're on the fifth floor now and... Yeah, I've been going to every single floor here. And let me tell you, it is... There's certain parts where it's quite packed and there's parts where it's like very dead. But everything is so... Every floor, because I'm on the fifth floor now, has been saying that it's fashion. And yes, I can't even go into the North Face because... I could assume that I'm gonna have to buy something. You know what? I picked the worst day to wear my Supreme sweater, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I bought this for like two. This sweater, I bought for like two, two thirty, because I bought it after it sold out immediately, and then ended up buying it for like an extra twenty-five dollar game. The Supreme reselling game is quite real. But yeah guys, none of this stuff looks like anything that I could honestly afford. <laughs> or not not even that. It's just something that this is the Converse Tokyo store right here. This is Lulu. Lulu Lemon. I think this is quite popular. I don't know why, but I think this is quite popular. I've never heard of it, so I'll go inside and I'll show you guys what I can. I almost went in and then I realized that. The people who I thought were just like athletic fit gym workers, not workers, but like gym members, randomly in there, those were actually the workers, so... This is the bookstore that I heard like is massive, so I will show you guys that for sure if I can film in there. Yeah guys, it's quite massive. <laughs> it's quite massive. And it's nice too. I need to be careful with filming because one, I don't even know if I'm allowed to film. Two, lately I've been noticing that when I'm panning the um, camera, sometimes I move it way too quick and it can't even focus for you guys. So I will try to go slower, but also I'm not trying to go so slow that we're not moving. I heard there's a place where they, like you eat here too. And I think this thing is like kind of well known at this point for any vloggers or people who are watching YouTube is that there's a place here that they blindfold you and yeah, they f you eat something. I forgot what it was. I think it was like, I don't want to say barbecue. It was something like, something expensive. That's all I know. But yes, and they blindfold you. So I'm like, seems interesting, but how am I going to vlog it if, yeah, Gundam. See, the whole time I thought this was just a bookstore, I didn't realize there was going to be manga here too. So, this is interesting. Originally, I was going to title the video, like, Ginza 6, new Ginza 6 mall. Is it worth it? Is it worth the visit? 
And honestly, I have to say, I was going, I was leaning towards, or at least from what I've seen so far, because I just got on this floor, I was going to say, mm, unless you're looking for brand name stuff, I'd pass on it. But actually being in the bookstore, there's a lot to offer. So I think this would be perfect for anybody, to be honest. I think there is a book or something of interest to anybody here. That's if you guys read, and then not just read too, if you guys have an interest. If you guys are willing to read, then yes. But I think just as a visual, it's really nice in here too. And yes, there is quite a bit of manga too, because I was looking through here just a second ago. Some interesting stuff for sale too. Some things for sale that I've never seen around in Tokyo at least. And then I was looking around too and I saw a book of, well I'll show you guys right now. I saw the book of Psychopaths and I was like, why does it say Psychopaths with two? And then I was like, oh, it says official profiling. Cause I don't remember if there was a season two. I remember watching it and like binge watching all of it. Sensible Garden Tea Galleria. Artist is Hiroshi Sugimoto. I'll show you guys. Lightning Fields 167 2009 Tilton Silver Print is what it says on the details. Guys, even above it's crazy. I thought we were done vlogging, and then I was like, nope. I'm like, this thing, this bookstore is quite never ending, so. I want to show you guys as much as possible because I know there's probably other people who vlogged already no doubt probably on the first day but I just want to make sure that I give you guys all the content
Quite a bit of options to eat too. And then 13th floor is restaurant and lounge. And Ginza Six Garden is on the top. They've pretty much been on every floor, so this was really nice. So this is my favorite part about it. figure out what's going outside what's going on outside at this I wonder if it's brand new yeah I think it's brand new because it looks like everything's not stocked so but it's a good idea putting this sim right next to this shopping center because it's gonna attract a lot of people and people don't know where the sim ranks in terms of roadside shop brands so I didn't even I didn't even end up filming the inside of that like mini market because there's really nothing in there because i was gonna buy something small and then i was like why am i gonna buy onigiri if i can just go out explore ginza not just this shopping <laughs> mall basically and find something because i checked the food in there too and there's actually a five-star restaurant in there and i wouldn't be surprised if there was more than one but the prices were outrageous i was like i'm not paying $50 for a single serving of like one oyster <laughs> or a few oysters so yeah so now I'm just going around and I'm gonna look for something to eat <clears throat> I think you guys know me at this point I just went to the quickest place with like instant food if that makes sense and then I got katsu and I really want some dessert now because dinner wasn't that expensive. It was only 500 N. Well, 490. So maybe like 390, I believe. 390 USD. So not bad at all. But anyways, I just want to find somewhere, so, something <laughs> to wash that off. Because not even the miso was good. So I was just so disappointed. And I didn't film the place, the front, because I was like, I'm not trying to like bag on it or anything. It was just, maybe it was just that one. Maybe I was just unlucky. <laughs> so, and there's so many other restaurants. I should have just kept walking around, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. I really want to try out, um, because you guys saw my bake mukbang. Oh, I didn't even see anybody there, but I, you guys saw my bake mukbang by the time this video goes up, so. There's a place called Pablo in Akihabara, which is supposed to be like the next best thing. So I actually really want to see how it differs between one another. <clears throat> but at this point, I'm not really finding places for dessert. <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of cafes, but nothing that really screams like super dessert. So cool. Okay. So, yes guys, I think I might just go back to Ikebukuro, head home for the day because I got my footage for you guys done. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the mall because I was running late on time anyways, so yes. And then, unfortunately, I need like a guide here actually when it comes down to it. You know what I should have gotten? Is I should have gotten Lawson's chicken nuggets. And that would have actually made a better meal. I guess this is a place where they serve like vegan dessert. But yeah guys, I think I might go back to Ikebukuro and pick up 
Or maybe I'll go to Akihabara and pick up Pablo. But if I end up going back to Akihabara right now, first of all, I haven't thoroughly explored Akihabara, so I want to do that probably for tomorrow's vlog. It is kind of hard vlogging because sometimes you get so carried away with vlogging you don't enjoy it yourself because you're just so focused on getting the footage and the right angle and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, that's why maybe these last vlogs, I doubt I'll try to make shorter so I can enjoy myself a little bit too, but yes, I'm pretty sure they'll end up being long vlogs anyways. I won't even show you guys because the brightness, the sign. But anyways, as you guys can tell because of all the anime, I'm in Akihabara, but I'm trying to find a cheese tart place and I can't I can't figure out where it is because I was checking the Yelp reviews and it was saying that there's like no definite way <laughs> to find it so I'm kind of distraught right now because I'm like if it closes by 9 which I have like an hour I think probably less now. train ride but if I can find it in time, I'll be so happy, guys. Because I really, really want to take some cheese tarts home today. I really want to come back to Akihabara, but I think I'll do that tomorrow for sure. What I do know is that somebody said that, like, the directions to find it, you have to at least pass Via de France, which is where I bought the pizza, I think, on the third vlog, fourth vlog, I can't remember but it was when I finally got my Airbnb. So I'm gonna go into the station and then try to figure out where it is. These are all the places I couldn't vlog when I was stuck <laughs> waiting for my um, Airbnb to accept me the first time around. And that's the bakery that I was at when they were doing the Nintendo thing. So the directions say, once you go here, you go somewhere over here. And then that's pretty much all it says. The guy who left the directions was like, okay, you go straight somewhere there down two streets and you'll be okay. So I'm gonna try to figure out where Pablo is. I'm passing by everything I want, like the maid bar, but I don't need right now. <laughs> so. Oh, guys, the directions that were on Yelp have to be the worst ever left by anybody, but he jokingly said that it wasn't gonna help and yeah, I thought I was going to help a little bit, but now I have no idea of where I'm going to right now. Okay guys, let's see if I can find it before closing. Otherwise, we'll have wasted time and money. So, well, honestly, I just really want cheese tarts right now. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, let's see. Alright, we've been at it for like 25 minutes. I cannot find Pablo anywhere. But I did find a waffle cafe and I'm like, at this point, oh, if Pablo doesn't pop up any minute now, I would just like to say thank you to the Yelper who decided to think that it was a funny idea to basically just leave like, he basically half-assed the directions and then put haha lol, like good luck. And yeah, like at first I thought maybe it'll be somewhat okay. Like I can figure out the rest, right? No. <laughs> like it... I literally followed his advice and it just took me into like the dead end of yeah no it literally took me to the most random spot ever where there's like nothing even open so forget that <laughs> I will um, try to hurry up so it doesn't close because I really want cheese tarts right now so I'm like where on earth could you be but I'll update if I can find it Okay, I haven't found it, but I did find these figures. And I just wanted to give them a moment that they deserve. At this point, I'll get enough footage to literally film tomorrow's vlog because I am not gonna find it at this rate. And I, it says, according to the, according to the, um, Yelp map that I'm nearby, but the Yelp, like this is the first time I've ever seen a location on Yelp with a question mark on it. So I don't know if that means they can't, what is it? 
confirm whether it's credible for the location. But yeah, guys, I'm still looking. Guys, I have very, very great news. I was literally going crazy. I was telling myself in my head, I'm just gonna pull off my hair because it is getting crazy. And look what I found glowing from the corner of my eye. So, I don't know what that person was saying about like how to get here. But anyways, if you guys see Akihabara station, the JR station right there, if you guys see a giant mall that says ATRE1, it'll be right there next to Sega. So, that's how you simplify it. Oh my goodness. Please do not dispose, okay. This looks really good. But we're here for the original, right? I know they have matcha, which sounds so good. Strawberry and chocolate, but those are all more expensive. So, this is until 531. So I should try this one. Yeah, I should try one of these. Okay guys, I'm so excited because I was literally at the point. It says point card. You can get a point when you get each. When you get 10 points, you will get a free plane. Ooh, guys, look at the fresh ones coming out. And the lady making the matcha ones right there. Oh, guys, I'm pretty sure the camera is gonna die soon, but at this point, I don't even care, guys. I'm so excited. And I definitely have to come back for Akihabara tomorrow just to check it out. Thank you.